Hello, everyone. Attack Power here with another Patreon coaching for another patron here. And uh, yeah, hopefully this is helpful for all of you newer players out there. And even if you're an uh, older, more experienced player, these can always be helpful to see some new stuff. So if you guys enjoyed that, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and consider checking out that Patreon down below. Thank you to all who have or currently do support. It does help me a lot. Let's dive right into this. We're on Shit Jedron. And our patron here, whoop, I just realized we are on the wrong view, and that's okay. Whoop. And hi, it's all good. All right, now, uh, our lovely patron here is on a phenomenal uh, division with fifth cav, but it's on a disgusting income. Why would you do that? Why would you change such a beautiful thing? But anyway, then when he's up against Festoon Dunkushin on balanced income, so this guy knows what he's doing. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so let's see what we got going down here. Deck wise, uh, let's check out the deck. Uh, it looks like I already checked it out. It, it honestly just kind of looks like the way I build it, but put on Maverick Income. Uh, I don't actually see anything here that really is any different. Infantry tab even looks the same. Got the double ZB. I was, yeah, I'm assuming since he's a patron, he's, he's probably watched my build of this. And is, oh, no, I put the Bofors in A. Not a huge fan of that. I don't think you need Bofors in A on top of four Hotchkisses. Uh, on top of a Vickers. Yeah, that seems... I would just put the Bofors in B and maybe skip the Vickers altogether. Not sure what you get instead, though, honestly. He's got the A and B phase already, but I you should vet that. That already should be vetted. It's not that good. Um, I don't think you need... Yeah, you don't... I don't think you need the A phase card of 81 mil mortars on top of the 60 mil mortars. On top of the other already. It, it seems excessive. Uh, air tab, it's fine. Yeah, I, yeah I, okay, yep. Yeah. yeah, otherwise, it looks fine. Um, there's not, like I said, just those couple things I would maybe vet a little bit more aggressively, probably vet the C phase card of Shioti as well, because you're a Maverick deck. I don't think you need 32 infantry in C phase. Um, I would definitely vet that, especially because again, you're not even punished that hard for vetting. You get 21. Um, so that, yeah, that, that's honestly what I would change. Everything else looks pretty standard for the most part. Eh, maybe vet the Kaladashi and B as well. Maybe. But that's also where the other two points go. Like, you could take out that 81 Mortar. Actually, the, he has no Arty Leader. Yeah, I would... I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would take out the 81 Mortar and put an Arty Leader. You need more leaders in this. There's only three, and none of them have radio. Yeah, that's the big issue here. He's got these Arty Guns with radio and no radio to actually take advantage of them. So, coming in here... Uh, deployment... Looking pretty standard here. Nothing too crazy. This could go all the way up. The the uh, the AB sorry. If yeah, he needs some infantry here. If you're gonna do this move, you need some infantry to grab this this forest here. IR coming in. That's fine. It looks like he's going for some sort of bombing strike. But if you're gonna do this, you need to press T and do attack ground, and that way it's primed up to do an attack ground. Because otherwise, it's not gonna it's not gonna be able to suddenly do a strike. Oh. Uh, the opponent has his own? Yeah. Oh, it's the, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the, uh, yeah, that one. That one can actually shoot him down. And he brought AA. Wow. Traction rush. Here it comes. Oh, yeah. That IA is probably dead. How, how slow is this thing? Oh, yeah. That's definitely faster. Maximum. Yeah. This pander. I don't know. I'm not sure what his plan with his pander strike was. If you're going to do this, bring the Puskas and then try to do this. Rashidza doesn't need to go on the hill. It can go all the way back here and basically see very similar and then be safe way back here. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. Don't. Oh, God. No. Yeah. He's got to hit fall back. It's already dead. Like, it's already down. He needs to fall back immediately. Oh, oh goodness gracious. Yeah. No fast move. Oh, my God. Stop using fast move. Jesus. Stop using the fast move. Use fast move attack. I think it's J. It might be different for you. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but yeah, you, you don't, don't, yeah. Okay, we got to hit that fallback button a lot faster. There's no question of that. So yeah, definitely not a strong start here. All right, there's some attack move. That's a plus. Again, we can use the fast move attack, go down this road and clear all this out with these two ABU sores. Oh, yeah, that should have been deployed back here so it could actually take advantage of its 2K range actually could have been it could have sniped some transports and it could have uh you know delivered some he punishment all right so let's see here roll shoot assault getting in there that's good pina Kaladi. yep th these are good units for this situation this is these are good choices here luke's was already dead essentially was bailed out 
Oh God. Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, uh, okay. You could use it. So this is how this works, guys. This is a very important one. When you choose a unit that comes in a transport, so you pick it up here, then you hit unload it, lo unload, like fast move, unload. You hit that, whatever that shortcut is for you. I changed it. I think it's Y. I think the original one's Y. Um, and then these units will come in with an order to already unload. And that's really important for speeding up your micro, especially with reinforcements. Uh, that That's just a key thing to do. All right, like the ABU source, swinging up here. This is good. Yep, you can start gaining a little bit of ground back on this hill. This was a nice clear out up north. This recon plane flying around, though, giving all the information is, is bad. He needs to get some sort of... Some sort of actual... There we go. Okay, we got an AA coming. I mean, no, not a BF-109. He should have brought AA in because he already knows the opponent has a heavy AA piece, which is going to be able to immediately stop his... It's going to immediately stop this. Now, oh, if he had timed that better, the 88 would have auto-shot at the BF-109 first, and the ABU sword could have finished it off. That would have been huge. Yeah, that would have been huge, but that was a missed time on his part. He, that would have been a huge play had he made it. So just remember, a great way to take out AA pieces is distract them with a plane, which I know sounds weird because you're like, I don't want my plane to get shot. It's not going to get immediately shot down. Um, so you bring it on. The ABU source swings in. It starts shooting at the plane. The ABU source starts laying down some fire. By the time the AA piece re-aims, it's going to be so suppressed, there's a good chance it'll miss, and then you'll be able to kill it off. So that's that's the way to deal with that situation. Yeah, and this is... You, yeah, so this Stug moving forward completely unsupported. Has no recon on this AA piece here. He's really lucky that's just a normal 88 because otherwise it would have died to a 105 instantly. Now it's going to die though. But wow, this thing missed three times. Why do 88s have terrible accuracy? I don't really understand. I swear to goodness they miss three times all the time, which is extremely abnormal. Most units only miss twice and then land the third shot. Usually that's always, to me, that's like the standard. If you have a unit shoot three times, it should be landing the third shot. If it doesn't, I get super pissed personally. All right, so we need more recon, like like tons, tons more recon. Uh, we have there's Kaladashi in this deck. There's no reason this Kaladashi right here needs to be shifted to this position right here to maximize the visual, like the visuals here. Finally, we see a 25 mil Bofors. This is the right play. It's gonna come up safe. All right, so no worries there. This Kaladashi is a nice thought, but it's in a terrible. It's not doing anything. It's just here. It's gotta move that. <clears throat> 60 mil mortars, yeah, they're pretty far back. Like, there's no reason to deploy them back here if you're just going to walk them up here to anyways. So just remember to, to deploy them in a more aggressive position right off the bat. Yeah, the unfortunate thing is the 60 mils are over here, so they can't really get this 88. That would have been nice. I'm not sure why he's calling more reinforcements, because the problem is when you bring them in here, now you have to hoof them across the hill, across this opening. He knows there's a whole bunch of support weapons here, so this is this is just a doomed assault. Like, there's, there's no reason for this. I mean, I guess if he double teams with the ABU sword, then we're getting somewhere. Yeah, okay. All right, there we go. Roshiori can put it down. Very nice. Taking out one of these Arcumflet would be great. What is this? It's an IG-18. All right. 60 mil mortars on the IG-18. That's the stuff. This ABU sword didn't get much done. This one, though. There we go. Nice. Breaking down some of this support. That's good. He nearly probably blew up from something. Is there an IG-33 or something over there? I like this positioning of these ABU swords. This is good stuff. Oh, these, these are already picking up some Pack 38 kills. That's nice. Love that. Very good. Very good. Very good. This is how you break this down, guys. This is a nice, this is a nice play move overall. I, these guys just standing here now is not so nice. Yeah, he's got to do something with it. Okay, nope. Late on this. Should have just doubled on the 88. Can he reach it? No, it's out of range. Okay, so he can't do that right just yet. But he could have hit the IG-18 again. Is this smoke? All right, if this had been smoke, I would have said that was awesome. But it's not smoke. 81 mil mortar in for the 88. Okay. We're, we're, that's that's not a bad play. That's an okay response. This Luke sitting here is just asking to be killed. 
uh, any ATPs thrown down in the road is going to kill this thing instantly. And this doesn't exactly stop transport, so there's really no reason for it to be here. Bread gun, though, that's a nice place. Ooh, this was a cheeky move. Yeah, what a little play here by Captain Satan over there. Yeah, these infantry should probably stop this. You, he's already captured the flag. Like, you can just put them, like, in this position here to hold this flag. You don't need your units to be directly on flags. They just need to be holding them. There we go. Saves his 60 mils. Probably should have been... Now, I missed it, too, so I understand why he missed it, but probably should be watching this little alcove over here. Luke's needs to get back on the hill to kill off these festerings before they get all the way up. I mean, he's making some use of these armored cars. That That's definitely helping him a lot. Uh, Fe uh, Festing can kind of struggle with these a little bit. They have AT, but, you know, it can be strained. This Luke's needs to get back in position. He's letting all these guys get in. Now, good reposition of his lieutenant here. That's a plus. Double arty piece, though. It's going to hurt. Now, hopefully the 60 mil mortars move far enough. If they didn't, they're probably just going to die. They did not move far enough. Nope, not at all. This, no. No, 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 no. I understand. If he's doing it on purpose just to suppress them, I get the concept. But if he was expecting that to do any damage, then no, that's totally wrong. Now, if his goal was just this, then all right, cool. That was a, that was a heads up play. Not sure what his intention was. If he if it was an accident, good for him. It worked out. If he was hoping that would kill stuff, no, that's not how cluster planes work at all. They do literally zero damage to infantry. None. Zip. They suppress them. It suppresses them quite well. Now, he should be putting a little bit more time into figuring... Yeah, okay. So he's got this whole force here, and he's not doing anything with them. Yeah. You you, you got to make sure you... Get, head, head on a swivel, right? Too close... Wow. He got lucky AF. Too close to these woods. Yeah, you're within Panzerfaust range here. You can't just be driving your ABU soar totally unsupported. Or any vehicle for that matter. It doesn't matter that it's a auto cannon car. It, it literally doesn't matter. This will insta die to a Panzerfaust at this range. Got to sit somewhere further back. Okay, you got to be aware of Panzer Shreks and stuff. Now you haven't seen any yet, so I understand not worrying about it. But yeah, no surety, not good at this. I mean, they have some rifles, so it's not like they put out terrible damage, but it's definitely not good damage. Yeah, these ARs they do put out some. They put out some good suppression fire. Nice uh, place here by the captain over there to counter this, these ABU swords. He's got to reposition these now. Get them out of the way. He can just back them up to here, but he is not. There we go. Now we see a backup. 16 mil mortars moving all the way. He doesn't need to move them this far because the truth is the second they fire again, he's, they're going to get spotted. And this is why the BF-109 is not the right choice here. Yeah, do you see how these guys are getting pinned? Like, they're not surely the ones who do this fight. Okay, we got some AR spam going on. If he had just called in 225 mils instead, he'd be in a much better place right now. Uh, okay. I guess. Yeah, the ABU soar is the right call here. Like, he's got the stuff. Yeah, so we're getting some little bit of air spam going on from Festering, which is odd. <laughs> not, not exactly a division that usually air spams, but... Um, yeah, so he definitely should respond with some more 25 mils. They're not that expensive. And he also, he's not even bringing them in with the Hotchkiss transport. So they're only 45 points. There's no reason you can't get more of those in. Ah, not the Vigor. Not a fan of the Vigors. Now, this 25 mil needs to be way more aggressively placed, like way up here. Again, still suffering heavily from a lack of recon. Like, if he had recon here, he would have so much more information about what he needs to do. Rocio de Salt doing nice. Luke should probably get further up on the hill here. There is a danger. There's a lot of Panzer Shreks in Festung, so you do have to be aware of that. But I think on the far back side of this hill, I think you'd be relatively safe. Really? Wow. Okay, that's a line of sight, I guess. He hasn't noticed it. Yep, ABU Sora should be able to ch tear through any infantry on this hill pretty easily. Gotta be careful, though. Those Jagdkampf walk around with a Panzer Shrek. It looks like his opponent is bringing the Jagdkampf in B and C, so he just needs to be aware of that. There's going to be more. There's a lot more of them now that we're in B phase. Okay. Um, all right. If you have the micro time, the correct thing to do would be to like literally walk them forward. Like this house, maybe skip a few houses. This house, this house, into this house. Not just straight walking them up to the front like this. 
Though he does has finally captured his flag, which kind of implies he could have done that a long time ago. Stug 3 die. Yeah, this is not the place. He knows there's a whole bunch of 88s and stuff here. He's really got to stop just throwing units into this. Put a Kaladashi right here, maybe, for spotting. Like, right here on the edge of the hill. Preferably, again, this Kaladashi just shifts over here and gets all the information he could possibly want. But he, we are now in B phase, so he ne really needs to turn on the afterburners here. He's got to get rolling. He's down <laughs> against the balance deck, which is exactly where the balance deck wants to be. This Vicar should move up to this line here, so can actually shoot planes effectively and participate in some AT d duties and stuff. That was a good bombing strike. Yep, very good bombing strike. Wow, this guy loves his 88s. I guess this is a division to love 88s in. Yeah, his infantry should absolutely slap Festering's infantry. The only one that should even be, like, in the conversation is the Agkampf. We haven't even seen any of those yet. There we are. Yeah, should be able to take out an easy 88 here. Doing some counter battery. This is a terrible RD placement. You do not want them next to each other. They should at least be, like, here and here. Very spread out. Not next to the transport road. Uh, this is fine. Tra reinforcements don't come in here a ton. Uh, you probably want a little bit for yeah, Oh, no, 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 my God. This whole, like, right next to each other thing. No, 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 no. You are literally just asking. You're, like, getting your arty killed for no reason whatsoever. You're making counter battery so easy. Finally getting the 60 mils firing again. Now, you could just put a ring, uh, put defensive fire on, and put a ring on that area for his units, for his 60 mils to just constantly fire stuff. They'll run out of ammo really fast, but they will constantly shoot stuff. The Roshiori could pop forward here and try to kill the Pack 38. That's definitely an option. Vickers is in a terrible spot because it's behind the trees. It can't see. It needs to move forward. Like this, these are not. This is not a great placement of A. And, and especially the Bofors on the back of the hill. No, 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 no. And it's all next to each other. It's just already fodder. AA is like on obviously like a prime target for Artie. You can't be putting your AA all next to each other. It doesn't matter if it's getting a leadership buff or anything. Like you gotta have it spread out a little. This is just this is just asking for it to die. Where did the Kanadashi go? Oh my goodness. This is not a CQC unit. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Yeah, now the Ag conference. Now these guys are gonna slap. <laughs> Luke's is gonna go down real fast here. Poor Luke's. He doesn't deserve such a fate. He moves the Roshioni back, but not the Luke's. <laughs> Down it goes, yeah. That's unfortunate. Now, he got very lucky that Kaldanashi ran into these flock troopers instead of, like, a CQC unit. Now, Festering does not have a ton of CQC units, so that's part of it. Now, this unit in the church tower, it would be much better to send this Kaldanashi, put it on return fire, and put it in the church tower. The information is invaluable. Now, it's probably going to get spotted anyway. The Yag Commander there is there, so it would probably be spotted. IG-33 in a nice spot in the hill. Oh, ho, ho. that was a nice kill. Ooh. Yeah, this 88 is still alive. He could have kept peppering it with the 81 with mortar. He really hasn't been using it aggressively enough. Did finally shoot down one of those I I R uh, ARs, excuse me. Yep. 88 trying to get on target. BF 109 gets a nice little strafe on the JU 88. And the, the 25 mils are way too far back. If this was further forward, he would have a good chance of killing this. Now, the BF-109 is going to get in again and take that out. So, this is going to be a nice kill here. There you go. Clearing out the air a little bit. Yeah, Kaladashi, not sure what his plan there with that was. Way, way overly aggressive. Oh, my goodness. I, I really want him to start clicking the unload at position order when he calls in reinforcements. It will help him immensely. So only a 12-12. Now his advantage is growing here. So, I mean, this is when he starts to actually, like, this income really gets dangerous. I know everyone right away thinks, oh, B-Phase, he's dangerous. Nah, you're not actually dangerous in Maverick until, like, 25, 26 minutes. That's when you really, I mean, yeah, no, 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 excuse me, 15, 16 minutes. Uh, that's when you really start to roll a little bit. Stolz Troop and easy killer. Breda Gun should not be in this position. Yeah, he's, yeah, that's not where you want to be with that thing. Yeah, this, I'm not sure what, I mean, okay, I see what it is. He, he doesn't want the reinforcers to come down this road because it's black. Shot 
I understand. I understand now. Yeah. I mean, he could just keep driving the transports over if he really wanted to. All right. Be an idiot assault. Getting a nice cap here for the moment. Yeah, Bredigan was in a completely untenable spot. Picking up another Comfilet for free? You going to get it? Oh, it's barely going to live. That hurts. Nice little arty strike here to try to un dislodge whatever's there. He's got a lot of arty going on. He better use this aggressively. Otherwise, he, he's just wasted a lot of points. All right, but Glipe catching out a pack 38 on accident. It's going to take a while with their singular MG42, but they will they will get it eventually. Oh, poor ABU sore. Retreated into the Flak 88. Wow, that thing's barely alive. Send another strike at it. Go, go, go. Okay, this okay, this is overboard. I'm all up for, for a little arty spam here, but oh my god, one arty strike kills this stuff. Like, oof. I mean, if he is going to constantly use this arty for the rest of the game, then fine. But if it sits for even a minute, he is wasting his points. And my goodness, recon, man. Recon. You need recon. A Katadashi right here spots all of those things. These 81 mil mortars could be getting a ton of value. Hotchkiss way too close here out in the open. No reason for that. If you're going to walk these, walk these like this over here instead of leaving yourself open to this patch of forest over here. Again, this AA placement is burning my soul. Move it, move it freaking forward. Put the Bofors over here. Yeah, down goes BF109 again. There we go. Nice. Good use of leadership. Good use of leadership. Uh, not sure what the second receipts is for. Not what I'm not sure what the point of that is. Yeah, and this is what you get for putting your RD right next to each other. One RD piece pins down both RD pieces. So that's really bad. Not sure what this leader is doing. Needs to get out of dodge here and like back up into cover. I'm, there's no point in pushing over here. He needs to get this flag, so he needs to get Artie to clear. I mean, he's got a ton of Artie. He needs recon so he can actually clear off this hill with his extraneous amounts of artillery and 81 mortars. Oh, 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 oh. And that's like one of his elite CQC units. Oof. Yeah, might want to just put on counter battery and really start like returning. Like he doesn't, you don't have to manually do it. Like put on counter battery and let the let the AI do it for you. That's the one thing the AI does pretty well. Oh, oh, oh my, that's a large bomb load. That was painful. That was really painful. That hurt him a lot. Killing two, pin down the entire force again. He's you're really bunching up too much. Like I yes. Units get bunched up. Like, that's how it kind of... You get these, like, pockets of troops. That's fine. It's fine to have pockets of troops. But he is... He, everything is bunched up all... Like, oh, my God. What is this? <laughs> it's just like a death trap. Death trap. Death trap. Death trap. <laughs> like, everything is bunched up. If you're making a concentrated assault, it's fine. Yeah, you have a whole bunch of troops attacking one point. They're going to be a little bunched up. That's fine. Uh, but this, like... I mean, in this, like, you can't avoid this sort of bunching up because you're defending here. Like, that makes sense. But the this sort of bunch up is completely unnecessary. Is a, is a one, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, he, I mean, he deserves this. <laughs> this. This was bound to happen, and it's not shocking at all that he's being punished for this placement. Yeah, now he's realizing, oh, crap, this is a terrible idea. Maybe I should stop doing this. And yeah, he should just be putting all his already going after this counter battery and clearing that out. Like that's that's really what he needs to do here. Um, so yeah, we need you, you, the placement placement here. So poor AA placement on the back of this hill, especially on this map. You got to be really careful. Uh, oh oh goodness. All right, this. Uh, what do you even do with these now? 
Yeah, he's going to lose some of his best infantry here. This player making a mistake. He should have just put the Yag Commando here in the church tower and just sat it there. So much value. What? Where's the plane? I don't see a plane. Oh, yeah. And this whole driving these troops up on this hill over and over again. Not, not, not what you want to do. Anyone more out of ammo? I'm not sure if he's noticed. Good A1 mil mortar strike, though. This is a plus. He could take this ammo right here really quick and zip it over. See another Laughly. That means another heavy piece is coming. Did he get it? Nope. The sheets are failing. Finally moving the 25 mils a little forward and spreading them out. Like, holy bajoli, we finally did it. This IG-33 is going to absolutely eviscerate this 60 mil the second it sees it. He really should have targeted the IG-33 because it's going to kill him. Now, we finally have recon over here. This is a plus. We can see what's going on. You see the difference? Look at that. Now we know what we're up against. New players, use recon. Use more of it. Okay, now we two things. Okay, 81 more. This this is what he did this for. This is the moment. Oh, he has not noticed that this thing's out of ammo. This is the moment. Like, throw down two strikes here. You might actually kill something. Yeah. <laughs> no. Also, he could have been hiding in this light cover. He did not need to be out in the open. Uh, definitely a misplacement there of those mortars. We're now pretty far into C phase, actually, already. And the balance player should be evening out, so things are not looking good for him. This is why, again, not a fan of Maverick. If you've just been playing balanced, he'd still be very much in this game. Although I, his, his opponent is definitely better than he is. I feel like 60 mil mortars never land on target. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Yeah, the 40 mil has ended up in almost a worse spot than before. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's too late, bro. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, yeah. And that's why the 40 mil should have been over here. Uh, because then with the combo of the Vickers and the 40 mil, you might have actually stopped that airstrike. But you've, he's concentrated all his AA one singular spot in the map. And it, it that's just a terrible choice. Another Vickers now. Another one. It's too far back. Get it up here. Your AA does need to be in scary positions if you want it to be really effective. Yeah, you don't want it to die. It shouldn't be in the line of sight, but like it also shouldn't be a thousand meters behind your front line. It, that's too. It's too far back. I mean, no, I should say fifteen hundred meters behind your front line. That's it's too far back. They lose half of their range that way. Stug three on the side. This isn't a bad placement, but there's no support. There's no infantry. There's no spotting. I, I can't believe it's spotting anything, honestly. Like, I'm shocked it's actually seeing this stuff. The sheet's on the edge of the hill, finally. This is what he should have done, like, forever ago. This should have been the original placement of the first sheets in the game. Not sure what the point of this... Okay, this Stug is in a terrible spot versus this 88. Needs to get this thing out of here. He's very lucky that they're already suppressed from the arty. We can also see the lack of radio really punishing him because, I mean, all of his arty's just kind of, like, flying all over the place. Yeah, and especially if he was going to be this aggressive calling in artillery, I'm very shocked he called in no radio units whatsoever. Like, the RD leader would have been huge. Wow, he got very lucky. That was incredibly lucky. All right, so Peony Assault finally in the woods, so we, we got something going right now. There we go. Yep, these guys will absolutely cream anything in there. 88 dead. Now we can use the Stug in a nice little HE supporting role, so that's not bad. Already coming out. He could fall back. I'm not sure why he's moving it. He should just fall back. This Roshiotti needs to move up to pick up some open ground fire. Stug 3, if you're not doing anything with it over here, there's no benefit. There's no benefit to this being here if you're going to do this. It, it's a good play if you're, like, following up with it. But, yeah. See, 25 mils too far back. Although his opponent has given him a golden opportunity to easily taking out the IG-33, he can go take out this flak, like, really easily. He's got these 81 more mortars that he felt like he needed to call three in, and it's only shot, like, hasn't, has shot these two times. Like, if you're going to call this much AA, and you better be ready to micro the crap out of them.
because it's a lot of points. And yeah, it can be very strong. I'm not saying it was wrong to call all this already in. Although it probably was a little overboard. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Too close. Deserving this. Fall back. Hit the fall back button. Stop bunching up your arty. It is hurting you a lot. Oh, oh no. Oh, this poor Rashitsa. You don't deserve this, man. Yeah, like these are your own mortar right here. Like this, this was prime target forever. Yep, easy, easy win here for these. These guys just driving into this open area when he knows these things are right here overlooking his whole area. Oh, 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 oh that hurt my soul. Uh. Stug moving up the hill into Panzer Shrek range, uh, totally unsupported. No, 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 no. Especially against this division. Against certain divisions, this may not be a bad play, but against this division, it's it's very, very bad. His opponent's handing him free pieces of armor against the Shishi, so that's definitely nice. Ugh. <sighs> The opponent now will have access to the Ag Panther as well. So just something to be aware of. Yeah, do you see how this Vickers fired way before this Vickers? Again, line of sight. Like, this is just terrible placement of an AA. It's, it's making it totally useless. Not sure what the opponent's are hoping to achieve here. Yeah, again, Vickers on this side of the hill does so much more. Goodbye, PN80. Oh. Okay, kind of a, I would say a miss bombing there a little bit. He has picked up a 1410 again, though. There, oh my god. No, that's still not the 81 mortars. <laughs> Dude. Don't bring him in if you ain't gonna use him. Alright, did take out the DO217. Looks like all this AA is doing something. And what's going on here? Oh, okay. Ooh. Wow, we got very lucky that that's all that happened. All right. So, yeah, again, this could have happened a long time ago. We see another Laughly, so another 88 or something coming in. He brought another 81 mortar in that's only fired one one salvo. This one's still standing out in the middle. Oh, this poor Oh, there's a leader standing out in the open. Oh, no. Did get lucky here finding the KM Fuhrer, so that definitely helps a lot. Bofors, unload it. This is why you should practice bringing, like, clicking an order when you click on a unit. Oh, oh, he still couldn't stop it. The 25s need to move forward. Yeah, that, that, this choice continuously punishes him. Finally killed it, but oh, the damage is done. He doesn't have the points to replace these sort of losses anymore. It yeah, could throw a Roshiri in here to hold that flag. Oh, there's sheets of die to the IG-33. I'm impressed he's holding in here. I mean, again, he is now down a lot. Oh, we finally are using the 81 Mortars again. Oh, uh, and his placement punishing him again. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, allowing his opponent to get so much value out of those arty pieces. Yep. Yeah, once his opponent starts breaking this arty down now as well, then he really won't have anything. The thing is, th this, this is a fine... 81 mil mortar strike like there's probably something here the problem is since he refuses to put any sort of recon here he has no idea like if he actually knew he'd cleared off most of the support weapons here this already could be so effective
Good supporting his infantry with the AB Horse, although the timing was definitely very off. Lucky that he could spot this Yagkamp before he got any closer. We're suffering from hill pressure, and we got to keep an eyeball on this sort of thing. It's annoying, I agree, but you got a solid 100 meters. You could still move forward without that Yagkamp getting a bazooka shot off, getting a Panzerschreck shot. Some sort of 88, it looked like. I'm assuming this Stuk's gonna die. No, okay. It's Pack 40 going after this Roshioi. <laughs> there it is again. Gets right on through. A placement. All right, nice micro for the AB horse, dodging the bombing strike. That was nice to see. That was a nice play to see. Pack 40. Oh, still going off the Roshioi there. Yep, another 120 down. Easy kills. Spots the 194, so it has to be aware it's probably coming down in here, I'd assume. Oh, okay, really kind of not ideal placement of this. I, I guess he was try hoping to get the support weapons and stuff, but yeah. I mean, somehow he's still picking up a 13-11 here, 15 minutes into C phase. So his opponent is giving him a lot of time to try to claw back in. Now, I would feel much better about this if he was actually up on tickets, but he's not. He's just trying to even get to positive tickets. Wow, gets a freebie kill in the Mario 3. Wow, his opponent is... Well, his opponent almost feels like he's playing desperate, despite the fact he's the balance player here, 15 minutes into C phase. Like this is this is it. Like this is what you play for. What what is happening here? Why are you doing this? He's putting these in literally the most useless position they could ever be in. They will never be able to reach anything. They'll die to anything that rolls up over this hill. Not sure what the point of that is. <laughs> this panda truck will never reach it. <laughs> Yeah, like, at least if it stays here, it could stop units coming up over this hill. But if you go behind this lake, <laughs> they can't do anything. Yeah, that's a really, that was a really strange choice. Not sure about that. Maybe a mistake, but that feels like, I don't feel like you're clicking over in this corner randomly. Yeah, he's already out of ammo, too. So, it's essentially dead unless he spends the 40, 80 points to get ammo for both of them. I mean, he's still got 1311. I'm not sure what his opponent is doing. I mean, he should have the points in spam to be able to just, like, blast through one of his flanks. He keeps blind firing this, but the, the, the bulge is over here. So that really implies that there's units like on this hill or something. But again, because we never use any like recon other than the horses, which are not amazing recon. Um, they're they're amazing units, but in, in terms of actual recon itself, it's not phenomenal. This Stug three is out of HE, so either fall it back or yeah, okay, or let it die. Remember, if you're gonna leave armor in certain positions, it better be for a reason. Like otherwise, it should be hiding. Like, if your armor is not going to be shooting at something, then it should be hiding. All right. I like the micro here of his infantry. Honestly, hitting the Feshting would have been smarter, though. Because this thing would get insta-pinned, and it would be out of the fight immediately. I understand the Jagdkampf is the scarier unit, uh, but this this could have been... He could have knocked this out immediately, and the Jagdkampf would have surrendered as well, like, immediately. It still worked out, but he probably took more damage than he had to. Yeah, his, his opponent's doing what I often do, which is not, like, just sending units in piecemeal. Like, one, two units at a time instead of, like, leveraging his 155 points and just smashing Kegger here. Yeah, honestly, I'm just fascinated to see what, what our opponent is doing here. What he sees. Yeah, he's got a... Okay, he's doing the same thing. This is not good. D d stop doing this, people. Do not make arty parties. Do not make arty parks. I understand the concept here, but at least go arty piece, arty piece, arty piece. And then the battery fear can still benefit all these, but they won't all get smashed by counter battery. 
Uh, so it looks like he's exclusively calling in Yagkampf and Stolstrup, and that's it. So it doesn't. It looks like he did not leave enough junk infantry to like be spammy at the end here. He's got a ton though here. He should be going up on this hill. This off map should have been utilized on this hill. He'd have it already. Uh, he's kind of like over committing now to this area. He is getting it back now. The town feels like it's ripe for taking. Like the RD should be going down here. Clear out this area and boom, you have this flag. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Really loves these DO 217s. And he's not retreating, like he's not immediately evacuating them, which is not a good play. He hasn't seen a fighter in a long time. And Kegger only has the one card of BF 109s, which I don't think is wrong, but when he used them as aggressively as he did, then it probably is. Yeah, off map here, gone. Hills, hills done. Off map here, this town is done. Like, it, this off map was really badly utilized by his opponent. Like, this was completely useless. Guys, you have to remember that off map is not for killing stuff. I know it can, and it does, but that's not you, That's not why you call it. Like, you don't call it in thinking, oh, this is going to kill everything. No. You call it in, it's going to suppress stuff, damage things a little bit, and then you go in and you clear off the area because everything's suppressed and your opponent's forced to fall back. Like, that's what it's for. It is not for, haha, -ha, clear. Okay, what is this? Oh, my God. No. You have, like, no points. You do not call an arty in... 30 minutes, uh, 40 minutes deep in a Maverick deck calling two pieces of 122s. No, 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 no. No, you do not want to do that. You are you need to be trying to hold the front line and, like, get these tickets flipped. Not call Artie in to go to war with his way better artillery. And then bunch them up so they die. And also, you have two pieces of Artie still. Like, you could have just, he should just call... Call in two pieces of ammo, and boom, these are firing. He has two pieces of already for half the price. So that's just something to be aware of. I, I feel... I, Kegger, I think you're a little bit too into Artie. I think you're, you're too committed to calling in artillery. Artillery's great. It is. It's got a lot of value, but I think you gave up a lot of front line calling in crap tons of Artie pieces. And ultra concentrating your AA into singular spots, especially these Vickers. Vickers just aren't good. Like, they're just not that good. If these had been all Bofors, like, if you had called in the C uh, B phase card of Bofors instead of these things, this your AA would be so much better. Now, truthfully, in, in terms of Artie, the 122s being here probably would have been better the whole game because they could have almost been in their own radio range, and they're just so much more accurate at this range. Although one should be over here and one could be over here. This, again, this whole two arty pieces next to each other is absolutely backbreaking for him. So AB Horse is tearing things up. Stole Stupin, do have a Panzer Faust. Is he watching? I mean, he made this nice play, but is he actually watching? The answer is no. Nope, he's not watching at all. If you're going to make a glorious play like this, you got to watch. Yep. So yeah, his opponent, we're going to put it in double time because his opponent does, I mean, his opponent's in the driver's seat, quite frankly. There's the, this is the off map that should have happened forever ago. Yeah, there's, there's like literally nothing he can do about this. Like this was, well, should have been bound to happen eventually. And there's not much to do about it. This is a tough thing with Shichedrin is you do end up with these really concentrated masses of infantry, like here, here, if the battle develops this way here. You know, it's very easy. Yeah, it's about time that happened. Um, you know, the town, like, off-map can be devastatingly effective on this map. Because your line is just very, like, into it's concentrated into very, like, specific pockets of resistance and battle. So it makes off-map significantly, uh, abnormally effective. Some maps, off-map, eh, it, 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 it's great. It's, it's always dangerous, but, like, it doesn't have near as, it's not nearly as effective just due to, like, the way the map is set up. For example, like, Slutsk. Like, the Slits maps are not as off-mappable. Uh, there's usually, like, one or two spots in them, but not like this map where there's three or four really key makes-or-breaks-the-game sort of thing spots. Yeah, now his opponent is really finally utilizing this Artie to basically eviscerate any position that he doesn't want. 
It's like yet having a mobile off map going on right now. Yeah, things are finally. His opponent's finally like actually making a move here. Oof. Oh. Oh, oh my. Oh, yeah, it's an off map too. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> That's these little 122s are like, ha, ah, I'll fire back. Take this. Eat my shoe. Oh, revealing this PNA to the assaults. Oi. Oi, oi. Yeah, there goes the Vickers. Insta, insta tapped. Hack forty. Okay, this guy really likes working his units around this. IR coming in. Nice to see that. Oh, oh can't get past the flak. Womp womp. Yeah, it's a lot of the same base. At this point, his opponent just just overwhelms. He just roll him back. There's not much to do about it. This whole, like, he should have just attack moved ordered. Because now, like, yeah, it, it just would be better. His opponent apparently only brought Yagkampf and C. <laughs> like, that's apparently all he did, which is really weird. You probably want, like, if you're building balance in this deck, you probably want to see face card of 32 disheartened whatevers. Wow, the pack 40 can't see this. I was trying this again. It didn't work the first time, but he is trying again. Yeah, no. Yeah, so, I mean, good game to both players. Solid play. I mean, there's there's some good micro things happening, um, but definitely some macro issues here. Oh, way too much bunching up. Do not bunch AA and Artie. You, it, no, 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 no. Don't ever bunch your AA and Artie. There is no reason for it. There's no benefit to it. Um, it needs to be spread out large enough that at least if an Artie would to target it and have its full-size circle, uh, that it wouldn't accidentally hit both units. Um, that That's step one. You, you can't. You can't be you can't be doing that. That's really backbreaking. Two recon. You gotta call in recon. You gotta use infantry like recon as like actually spotting stuff. And you don't have recon for some reason, then fine. Put an infantry unit in a spot that actually can see something. Um, there was a lot of times you it was just functioning without seeing most of the map, and there was plenty of opportunity to see some of the map. Um, so you definitely need to be better about putting recon in places put it on return fire so that it, like if it's a unit that fights like a katarashi and you don't want it to die like it's there to see things put it on return fire and actually reap the benefits of seeing what your opponent is doing careful about over committing to arty yes you want some arty arty is great there's nothing wrong with it but it was way too much way way too much for the amount you, that it was used um it was just an overcommitment of of arty uh yes Against Festung, you need Artie because they have a lot of static emplacements and things. But if you're going to do that, so you called in those four 122s. That was fine. Like, honestly, the four 122s was still okay. Um, but you should have aggressively counter-batteried until you felt like he was actually out of Artie. And then and then maybe call in the 81 mortars to hit the, the static stuff or, you know, turn those 122s on. Um, and radio, deck building issue, radio, especially if you're going to go balls to the wall and you're already like that, uh, you need to have radio there. There's no benefit at all to having those with radio. If you're not going to utilize the radio, um, for that. And, uh, yeah, finally placement of units in comparison to Hills and stuff. Uh, obviously a, we talked about a whole bunch of times just being in really bad positions that it didn't actually have line of sight to shoot things down. Uh, remember your AA does suffer from line of sight. Like, yeah, so like this 88 could have been killed in other ways. There was definitely ways to be taking out some of these things. Um, you called all that artillery in, and these 88s still did a ton of damage. You had all that AA and the two, DO-217 still got through all the time. So that, that was mostly placement issues. And um, yeah, if you, if you fix those positioning issues, I, I think you there was a lot of good things happening. I, I think you win that game if you fix the AA placement and the RD placement. Uh, honestly, those two things were so incredibly backbreaking. Uh, and use recon. If you just do those three things, which none of those are like super hard, none of those are like you are bad at playing this game. Um, those are just like very easy to fix macro mistakes that that you can immediately fix in your next game. Don't bunch things up, especially support weapons. Be more careful about where you place your AA and stuff and use some stinking recon to see things. Good game, though. Hopefully this was helpful for everyone who watched, especially you, Kager. And I uh, hope you guys all have a great day. Thanks. Hit that like button, subscribe, and consider checking out that Patreon. Thanks a bunch, and have a fantastic day.